آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد We were in, in the fiqh of Hajj, right? Right? We're still in month of the Hajjah or finished? Finished, finished right? Which day today? Fourth of Shahr Allah al Muharram. Okay, why it's Muharram? Why it's Haram? Why it's sacred month? Why? Huh? We mentioned before, right? We mentioned that the Hijjah is the month of Hajj, of course. Okay. One month before the Qa'da, people are going to Hajj. So, as, as to ensure the safety of people going for Hajj, then Allah forbade fighting. Shar Haram. Then after the, the Hijjah, people go back home. So, mostly it will be also in Shah Allah, Muharram. So, still fighting is forbidden. That's the three consecutive months of Al uh, Ashur Al Hurum, and one is separate. What's the separate month? Rajab. Now, we were in the second period at Tawaf. And we learned the conditions for its validity. Number one, Aniyya. Number two, Tahar. Number three, Satru al Awra, covering the private part. And number four, that the Tawaf should be around the Kaaba inside the Masjid. And number five, that the Kaaba should be on the left side of the person. And number six, that the Tawaf should be seven labs or circuits. And Starting from the Hajar Al Aswad, ending by Al Hajar Al Aswad. Why it's Aswad? Why it's black? Huh? Absorbing all the things. Absorbing? No, not absorbing. It came down from the heaven more white than milk. And at that time, anyone had a permanent disease, if he would wipe it, just touch it, he will be immediately cured. But because of the sins of sons of Adam, it became black. Sins affected the stone, how it will affect the flesh of the heart. Definitely more, right? If the seeds will affect the stone, how it will affect our flesh? Very soft. It will make it so black. May Allah forgive our sins. So, number seven, that the circuits should be performed in the close succession means al mutara. We cannot make three laps and then go to the hotel in the clock tower. You are, mashallah, rich people. You go in the clock tower, take a nap for two hours, then come back and continue another four. Cannot. You have to make it successful after each other. The sunan of the tawaf, and they are the following. Number one, ar-ramal. What is ar-ramal? Who knows? Ar-ramal is to do what? Huh? Who went for um umrah? Okay, opposite. Who didn't go for umrah? Raise up your hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. Seven out of ten? Seven out of eleven, right? You went? Yeah, yeah. Hajj? Yeah, yeah. Umrah only? You have chance one year. <laughs> Hajj? Okay. This December, inshallah, we have one hour. You can book from now. We have one hour in December, inshallah. Okay. So, Ramel is jogging. You know jogging? We have walking, we have running. In between is jogging. So, Ramel is jogging. This is Sunnah for only men, not, not women. Women 
they don't do jogging. So this sunnah is only for men who are able to do it. So the sick ones, the old ones, they don't do wrong. Okay? And this is for the first what? For the first three laps. Rest of the four you just walk. Okay? Number two. al intiba Who heard this before? al intiba al intiba is a, a way, a style to how to wear the dress. So we have in Ihram, we have two pieces, right? Two towels, two white towels. The lower part we cover from the waist until below the knees. And the upper part, usually you wear it how? You put the middle on the back of the neck and you you bring the two uh, edges like this. But in Tawaf, according to some scholars, it has two opinions. Some scholars they say in Tawaf, the Tawaf has its, its Sunnah to uncover what? The, the right shoulder of men. Only men and uncover the right shoulder of it. So you put the middle of the towel here and the two edges you bring it on the left shoulder. This is the tabah. Uncover that right shoulder. Only in tawaf. Many Muslims they will make a tabah, uncover the right shoulder before tawaf, after tawaf, during salah. Brother, big problem. <laughs> that is not correct. That is wrong. And especially in salah, don't anchor. Salah, come. Even you're making tawaf, then Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Ashadu Allah, Iqama, then what do you do? You cover. After salah, uncover again to continue your tawaf. Clear? Alhamdulillah. Okay. Many people will confuse you. That's why you need to study. You find many people making things different. So it's important to study. Number three, kissing the black stone in the beginning if it's possible. That is soon. Kiss the black stone. Even every lab? Yes, of course, every lab. Every lab it's highly recommended to what? Yeah, someone here kiss the black stone every lap? Not even one time. <laughs> 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 you cannot reach this, is an impossible mission. <laughs> well done. Alhamdulillah. Really? Alhamdulillah. <laughs> so, they couldn't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> no, if, if Allah bless you, you go in empty time, every lap you can go. This is very rare times in the year. Uh, and, and Umrah is not allowed from outside, only locals. That's why sometimes 1 a.m. to a.m. very few they can every lab mashallah. Anyhow, it is sunnah that every lab you go and kiss the black stone. If not possible, we have three levels. Please focus. I'm not writing. Writing? Mashallah. Technology. First thing, the, the best sunnah is to make what? Kiss. <coughs> Second is to? Not, not touch. Wipe. Okay. This is the second level, to wipe by your hand. Third level is? Huh? No. There is third level. Before the fourth. If you have a stick, you touch by the stick. But now, please don't bring a stick. <laughs> <laughs> you will harm people, right? Yeah. But in case, anyhow, if you have something you can touch with it, you do. The fourth is to what? Wave or I would say, inshallah, point out. Point. Or let's say, point. wave. Huh? Pointing. Don't, don't make. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not like this. We don't do like this. Just like this. No, no, like this. Kaaba is on, on your right side, uh, on your left side, right? 
you move in towards the Kaaba and you make you stop and you face the Kaaba, you face the Hajj and that's what say Bismillah Allahu Akbar, then you return, then you continue. Okay? Clear? So that is the four degrees or levels for Al Hajar Al Aswad. Number four, saying when beginning the first lab, Bismillah Allahu Akbar, Allah ma imana bik, wa tasniqa bi kitabik, wa fa'a bi ahdik, wa tiba'a li sunnati nabiyaka Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This dua is in the first lab only. After that, each lab just say, Allahu Akbar, no, just only Allah. After that, only Allahu Akbar. Okay? You will find people before the Hajj al Aswad by 20 meters, 10 meters. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. This is not correct, it's just one time. When you come on the level of Hajj al Aswad, you face it, you say, Allahu Akbar, and continue. But what people do? <laughs> Emotional things and wrong things, so be careful. <laughs> Uh, Bismillah, Allah Akbar, Allahumma. Bismillah, Allah Akbar, for the first time. Yes. After Allah that, Allah Akbar. Allahumma, Allahumma, Allahumma. Bika, wa tasdiqa bil kitabik, wa afa'a bil ahidik. Atiba. The Sunnah al Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So, number five, making supplications during tawaf, and it is not limited or specified. Rather, each person who is performing tawaf should supplicate with whatever Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala inspires him to say. Yet. It is sunnah to conclude each circuit by saying Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adhabana When do we say this? When we say this dua? Hajar Yamani Hajar Yamani? Hajar Yamani? Rukh Yamani Yamani corner So the Hajar Aswad The corner before it Before it Is called the Rukh Yamani in between, when you pass the Rukh al-Yamani, going to Hajar al-Aswad, you say what? Rabbana, atina fi dunya hasana, wa fi al-akhirati hasana, wa qina, adab al-nar. That is the only dua authentic about from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Tawaf. Rather than that, you'll find some dua from Sahaba. Ibn Abbas, Ibn Mas'ud, Ibn Umar, رضي الله عنه, and others. Nothing is special except this dua in this area. Rather than that, you make dua from your heart. It's better not to read and better not to follow someone saying, Allahumma, and everyone after him says, Ameen, like this. This is not haram, not wrong, but it doesn't have. Yes. You ask Allah what you want in your language, no problem. You ask Allah from your heart. And the best thing to ask Allah is the dua of the Prophet Muhammad So try to memorize this dua and if you don't know you can read the dua of the Prophet Sallallahu and it's highly recommended that you make dua by your by yourself. Okay, number six, touching or wiping on Yamani Kurna, Rukni Yamani with the hand and kissing the black stone every time one passes by. Uh, by them during his tawaf because the Prophet ﷺ did so as is recorded in the Sahih. So every lab, this is very easy even now that every lab you wipe on a rock. Yeah. This is easy, no problem. Not so crowded. You can go. Allahu Akbar. Okay? You say Allahu Akbar and you wipe on a rock. This is the corner before the Hajar and that's what. What if you couldn't reach the Rukn al Yamani? Allahu Akbar! You make it like this? Where? No. Rukn al Yamani, this is a common mistake from Muslim. That you will find many people they are waiting, but no such a thing in the Sunnah. Rukn al Yamani, if I could reach, and why? Allahu Akbar, like this. Okay, and no kissing. For Rukn al Yaman, you'll find people go kiss and hug and make everything. This is not from the Sunnah. Kissing only for Hajar al Aswad. But no kissing for 
Look at the Yemen. These stones, we don't. We, like Omar al Khattab, what did he say when he was kissing Al Hazar al Aswad? He's saying, I know that you are just a stone. You do not harm or benefit. But only because I saw Rasulullah Sallallahu doing so, I'm doing so. This should be in the heart. So, Rukni Yamani, we wipe, say Allahu Akbar, just wipe. Like this. Khalas. If I couldn't reach, I don't wave. If I reach, I wave and say Allah, I don't kiss, I don't wave. Please. You will be confused, especially in the first Umrah, by the mistakes of people. Brother Hajj, welcome to Safur Masjid. Okay, we're saying the common mistake in Rukn al-Yamani that only the Sunnah is to wipe. Okay, you'll find people kissing, you'll find people waving from far distance and that is not uh, correct, it's wrong. Number seven, supplication. At Al Multazam. Ya Rabbi Zukna Ya After completing Tawaf. Multazam, what is a Multazam? Who knows? Multazam. You don't know Multazam? You went to Omar, right? There's some people trying to avoid questions. <laughs> but he knows Multazam. He entered me. Right? He stayed five minutes. He stayed five minutes. Eight. 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 What is a multazam? Between what and what? Between the rookie and many and the door. Not a rookie. Hajar and the door. The door. There is door for the cab, right? Between the door. Between the door and the hajar also. This area. Okay? Called what? Al Multazam. This place. Dua is not rejected. Dua is if you could reach this place. This place, few people know. Many people they go in on the door. They go to the door and they know that the footstep is high, is above our maybe two meters. So people come and they hang on the footstep of the door. And they make a lot of dua, and some of them take out envelope. <laughs> anyhow, anyhow, the door, the door of the Kaaba has no speciality. The door of the Kaaba has no speciality. What is the special place between the door and Al Hajar Al Aswad? Okay. So some notices. How to make dua? Make dua like this. You go, for example, this is the Hazard Aswad, and here is the door. You come here and you go like this. Okay? You put your hands, all your hands, all your forehead and nose, and all your body, you put it like this. And you make one. This is how Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to do. That's why it's called Multazam. Multazam is not something that you make. Iltazam is like hug. The place that you hug it. So this is how the Rasulullah used to make dua in that place. And this, this place is a very the most special place you can make dua that mashallah. It's crowded. But not like a Hajar Aswad. You can wait some time, go and wait, you will enter inshallah. With condition if sisters are there, go, go come another time. Because sisters, if you come inside, you will you will not hug a cat. <laughs> Very difficult, big problem. So some people, some sisters, some brothers, both. To make so this is sunnah, right? It's not compulsory, right? To make a sunnah, they fall into haram. They don't do something bad, but the body is. Squeezed in another body. What? Why? Why we do like it's not it's not allowed. If I find two sisters or one sister even, don't enter. Wait until they finish. Come another time. Same for sisters. They cannot come and <laughs> make like this for with men. No, this is still a sister. If you cannot, if you don't find the space, go. 
this is better for you and for your deen. Sometimes because of crowdness, hijab is taken off and okay. So be careful about this. Also, when you enter a multazam, try to say the best of the best of the best of the dua because time is limited. You will find people are making <laughs> like this. <laughs> <laughs> people are rushing because it's a very vicious place. So try to say the best from the deep of your heart. The best dua. And also try not to take so long time. Some people they enter, mashallah, 30 minutes. You knock, <laughs> you pull. No, khalas, he is thick. Uh, just give some time to your brother. So don't take so long, especially if they knock many times, because people also they want to take uh, from these blessings. Number eight. Break the two rak'ah after completing tawaf behind Maqam Ibrahim. Maqam, do you know Maqam? What is Maqam? Footsteps? The, the stones that has his footsteps. footsteps right? And down. Yes. Okay. We should pray the two rak'ah after tawaf behind Maqam Ibrahim alayhi salatu wassalam. Nowadays, it's almost impossible to pray the two rak'ah behind the Maqam directly. Why? Because it's full of people talk. And it's haram. Some people, they say, Wallahi, I will do this to you. <laughs> Maqam Ibrahim is like this. And people are too much. Allahu Akbar. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you cannot make salah. Hundred women will pass in front of you, and you are annoying and harming the people making tawaf. It's wrong. Go back and make salah at any place. If you want to make it on the same line, okay, take the same line and go back of the masjid. You can pray to rakah easy, inshallah. We, we pray in the first rak'ah by قُلْ يَا أَيُّهَا الْكَافِرُونَ Second rak'ah قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحْدْ And see why the brother Subhi Now Why we read قُلْ يَا أَيُّهَا الْكَافِرُونَ and قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحْدْ in the two rak'ah of Tawaf you didn't make tawaf before? You yeah, went to Amra without tawaf? Without tawaf. <laughs> <laughs> we pray tawaf. We pray to Raka before yeah. or after? After. Why we say, Qul Ya Ayyuh Al Kafirun? And Qul Huwa Allah Ahad. Why? This two surahs special. I don't know. Who knows? Because this two surahs are about Aqeedah. Yes, about Tawheed. Qul Ya Ayyuh Al Kafirun, I'm away from shirk and kufr. Strong declaration of your iman and qulu Allah ahad that is the way the best surah for tawheed during hajj and umrah it's very clear okay this sunnah in every day sheikh in fajr right this sunnah also as well yeah number nine after finishing the two rak'ah where to go huh? you go and drink zanza you drink Zamzam, drink Zamzam, drink Zamzam, drink Zamzam, until Tadallah. What is Tadallah? Huh? Saudi. Out of service? <laughs> huh? What is Tadallah? When we drink Zamzam, it's until tadalla. Drink until tadalla. What is that? Tadalla is when your stomach expand and it hits the ribs. Because it's full, too much food. Okay? This is tadalla. So it's highly recommended when you go to drink Zamza after talk. Drink, drink, drink. And be careful if you are drinking little, you cannot take more than one or two cups. Be careful. 
منافقون cannot drink a lot of sand. The Prophet said, This hadith is not authentic, but it's it's accepted. Like Hassan Lagai. Ma'u Zamzam la yatatallu minha munafiq. No munafiq can fill his stomach by Zamzam. Cannot. He takes one sip, two, two sips, and because my Zamzam is salty. Little bit. Now they, they remove, they make some uh, editing, but anyhow. Zamzam, uh, the munafiq cannot drink a lot. But the believer, mashallah, he can fill his stomach until he feels his heart is purified, and his stomach is purified, and all his body is purified, and his soul is purified. Zamzam, drink, drink, drink. As much as you can. And ask Allah what you want. Okay? Ask Allah what you want. And there is no special dua for drinking zamzam. After that, it's sunnah to return back to al -Multazim. After that, it's sunnah to return back to uh, al -Multazim. Uh, Sorry, to return back to Al-Hajar Al-Aswad. It's sunnah again to return to uh, Al-Hajar Al-Aswad if possible. Now, of course, this sunnah we cannot make it. But not till a level that becomes a joke. Mm -hmm. right. You know, like some people, I guess one Egyptian. Okay? Yes. I was saying like, oh Allah, you know and I know. I no need to tell, to talk a lot. You know and I know, I don't need to what is this? This is impolite, right? It reached a level of not good. Of course Allah knows, but Allah loves to hear the dua. And Allah loves you to repeat the dua and ask him many. Allah loves this. So Allah knows everything. He knows what is inside your heart, your mind, intentions. But when you say Allah, this is Allah. Alhamdulillah.